Howdy folks, I hope you're doing very well. Today I'm going to show you how you can create seamless tileable textures and normal maps using Inkscape and GIMP. Inkscape and GIMP are free open source software which is available for Microsoft, Apple and Linux operating systems amongst others. I'll include download links uh, for those programs in the video description below. And I've actually used Inkscape and GIMP uh, in making textures for the rigged mesh clothing I make. And I'll show you some more of that later. Um, I've also got a couple of questions for you all, so keep watching right to the end find out more so anyway here are the here are the websites as I say I'll put the link in the description and I'm just going to start up Inkscape to show you what you need to do to start making uh, your seamless tileable texture so I'm gonna I'm gonna start Inkscape I've already got it loaded on my computer. So what you need to do is once you've opened it, once you've downloaded it, you installed it, you need to open it and then go up to file and then choose new from template. And then if you click on the tabs, click on the one that says other and choose seamless pattern styled canvas and once you do that you've got a, an option to put in the size in pixels that you want the texture to be um right so i'm i've actually got a couple of textures that i've already loaded up and so i'm just going to I'm just going to open those. So the first one I'm going to open, if I can find it, uh, 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 yeah, I think it's that one there. Let's see if I can open that. There we go. Okay, it's on another screen, so I'm just going to drag it onto my screen. Okay, so this is. This is what you will see uh, when you when you create a seamless um, template, a seamless texture, seamless pattern template. And it uses layers. And I'm just going to click on this um, option up here to open the layers panel. If you don't see these options, I believe if you go to view and make sure you've got a tick in show hide commands bar, it should put that bar back up there if it's missing. Or failing that, you can you can just go to I think either layer, layers and objects, or you can go object, layers and objects. It doesn't really matter. I think it does the same thing. But I'm gonna click on this on this little layers icon up here and if you look at the instructions it says use the layers pattern foreground and pattern background on the pattern page to create your design and it's talking about this being the pattern page and if I just click on the little triangle next to the word pattern it shows me the layers it's a little bit confusing because it says help a layer don't use but in fact we do need to use that layer so we just click on the little triangle and you'll see that there's two um, two unlocked layers called pattern foreground and pattern background and that's what the, the pattern is currently on so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, I've, I've got my selection um, my selector tool selected so I'm just going to highlight all the stuff on that layer and I'm just going to delete it and I'm going to delete the text as well so there's nothing on there 
I've already got my uh, pattern in here so I can just draw a box around it and then I can use shift and control and A to bring up this align and distribute menu and I've got mine set to the page so you need to make sure that's set to page and then I can click on this button here to say uh, center it vertically and then on that one to say center it horizontally and it will center it onto the page and you can see that um, that has now if I zoom in a little bit you can see that that has um, given me a preview of, of the texture um, I actually found some Hello Kitty images um, online and I um, well, in fact they were they, they weren't images they were well, they were images they were SVG images and I um, imported them and changed them and changed all the colors and uh, made them kind of how I wanted them to look so yeah so that's that's what I did there and in fact um, you can go to I believe if you want to change the kind of colors you can go to filters and colors and then you can go to color shift and then you can I do live preview I think you can um oh because I'm not not selecting them hold on so if I select my my pattern there and then we do the same thing again so filters colors the shift the tick in the live preview and you can see that by changing the kind of shift it will it will change the colors and you've got an option to also to change the saturation um, and I think that's what I did to create my different colored textures and once you're happy with it you can apply it I'm not going to do that um, and so yep yeah, so if you wanted to save once you're happy with the, the image uh, and you wanted to save it you can go up to file and go to export and then make sure you've got the page option selected and you can choose the the width and the height and the, the name the folder that you save it into and click on export and you can save it as a, a png or an svg or a jpeg or whatever there's various options there anyway so that's the, the colored texture um, i exported so i'm just going to close that and i'll show you also the black and white texture that i exported so let me open that one now hopefully that will open in a second once it's had a think about it here we go okay so same thing applies um just going to go back to layers open the pattern open the helper layer go to the pattern foreground select what's on that tile and delete it and select my um, tile that I've already imported and do shift control A and then go to the alignment and say vertical and horizontal and now you can see the uh, the pattern that I created this is the pattern that I'm going to use as the basis for my normal map which is kind of like a bump map um, it kind of perturbs the surface of a flat it makes a flat surface look like it's bumpy um, but we're actually going to use GIMP use the GIMP program to do that so so anyway that's that's how I um, that's how I made that in fact I can kind of show you how I made it so I just made a kind of a black background but then I took um, a square 
if I just I'm going to the square tool and I'll just stuck a little square there uh, and if you go to the node edit tool you can select you can select I believe you should be able to select maybe not uh, back in the day okay <laughs> that's not working for me okay I'm not gonna no I'm not gonna show you oh yeah there you go it was it's done it now you can you can um, create a a rectangular square and if you go to the the node edit tool you can um, move this little node here and it will round out the corners of the of this of the rectangle the square which is what I did and then I just arranged them it's meant to look like a, a kind of threaded like a wool pattern or a cotton thread pattern anyway so I'm not I'm not going to export that but you, you can export it the same way um, so if I go into Gimplay so I like likewise I've got the GIMP installed just make that a bit bigger so I can drag in my uh, my black and white texture that I made in Inkscape and if we want to turn this into a, a normal map like a kind of bumpy type map that a lot of software and the, the blender can use what you can do is import it uh, you go to I think it's filters generic and then you choose normal map and I think the, the default tends to work fine for me you've got an option to kind of scale it and change various bits and pieces which you can play with if you want to but but once you're you're happy with it once you've done that you can you can export do an export as and save it as a for example a PNG and in fact I can show you what that looks like um, in Blender so let me open Blender give me one second here we go yeah okay so we've got um, let me just get rid of that right so you can see that um, I've got my kind of hello kitty I don't you probably can't read that but it's my hello kitty texture on that one I'm using uh, nodes here so that's one of the one of the hello kitty textures uh, I made and then on the top here on the on the, the top of the garment I've made um, another I've used the both the black and white and the normal map texture to kind of give it some some semblance of like looking like material I also made a pair of shoes to go with it so a complete outfit um, so those are the shoes and I did think let me just <laughs> close that okay so that's um, I won't bother saving that I did consider creating a video showing the creation process of the the dress and the top and the shoes but I, th I think it would have been too long and it wouldn't have been very easy to watch it would like it would have been an hour or, or a couple of hours or whatever um, and I wasn't sure that was that was what people wanted so um, but if if you think I'm wrong and you do want more long format videos on the channel then please leave a comment um, below this was one of the things that I kind of mentioned earlier when I when I said I've got some questions for you guys in that it's difficult as a content creator trying to second guess the, the type
type of content that an audience is likely to be interested in or to find useful or valuable. So it's only through getting your suggestions and your feedback uh, regarding what you want me to cover next that I'm able to kind of grow the channel and provide content that I hope you'll find useful and interesting and relevant. So, um, thanks for watching. I do hope you found that useful and I really do appreciate your comments and subscriptions as that's a, a great way to keep me motivated into making more content. So, meanwhile, take care, see you again next time, and bye for now.